In this video, I'm going to explain about the preparation of nanomaterials by using precipitation method. Actually, this method involves the precipitation of nanometer sized particles within a solvent. In this video, first let us see what is precipitation method. This method is the chemical synthesis where two or more soluble precursors reacts in solutions so that they form an insoluble product in the form of precipitates. That insoluble product is nothing but our required nanoparticles. So in this method, two or more soluble precursors reacts in solutions and the formation of nanoparticle it takes place in the form of precipitate that is nothing but our precipitation method this method is widely used for the preparation of metal oxides like zinc oxide titanium oxide etc this method is also useful for the preparation of metal halides like silver chloride silver bromide and so on and also, this method is useful for the preparation of hydroxides. For example, uh, iron hydroxide. Now, let us see the procedure for the synthesis of nanomaterials by using precipitation method. This method mainly consists of four steps. First one is the nucleation process. Second one is the precipitation Third one is the filtration and the last one is the calcination. Now let us see all these four steps in detail. So the first step is nucleation process. In this uh, process, an inorganic metal salts such as uh, halides, nitrides are dissolved in a suitable solvent. So when the precursors are mixed, the solution is supersaturated. So at this stage, what happens is the nucleus starts growing and converts into the particles. That is nothing but our nucleation process. And the second process is the precipitation process. In this process, the obtained metallic salts are converted into precipitates in the form of either hydroxides or oxides or halides using sodium hydroxide or ammonium hydroxide or potassium bromide with the continuous steering that is the precipitation process and the third process is the filtration process as usual in the filtration process the precipitated product is filtered and washed to remove the impurities and finally the last process is the calcination process in this process, uh, the filtered product is dried at higher temperature to get our required nanoparticles. It may be either the metal oxide or metal halide or hydroxide. These are main four steps for the synthesis of nanomaterials by using the precipitation method. In this method, the size of the nanomaterial can be controlled by varying steering speed, time and temperature of drying. So if the saturation occurs for a longer period, then the precipitation with larger sized particles are formed. On the other hand, we can say that if the saturation occurs for a shorter period, then the precipitation with the smaller sized particles can be obtained. Now let us see one example for the precipitation method that is the synthesis of silver bromide nanoparticles. Several types of uh, apparatus are used uh, for regulating the concentration, temperature, rate of addition and mixing. One of such apparatus is the double jet precipitation apparatus. In this apparatus, Initially, uh, the silver nitrate solution and the sodium bromide solutions are introduced into the mixing devices. These mixing devices already contains a heater is attached to the end of a high speed motor. 
and this high speed motor has the speed of about 2000 revolution per minute and finally by stirring the silver nitrate solution and the sodium we will get our required right nanoparticles with so the overall reaction taking place reaction is with the sodium bromide we will get our required so by using this method we will get one nanoparticles that is the silver bromide 